In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct a spiral using the Fibonacci um, numeric sequence. Uh, so what you do is you start with a one by one square and you begin to construct larger squares around it. Before you begin with this, um, what I would suggest you do is check to make sure that dynamic input is on. It's this icon right here and it should be blue. Now I'm going to go up to the home ribbon and select the rectangle tool. And you can see it's asking me for the first corner. So I'm going to select a point anywhere on the screen and I'm then going to give dimensions for my square. I'll make it one unit in the x direction and then put comma and then one in the y direction. All right, so there's my little square and I'm going to zoom in a little closer. Right, and I can begin to build off of that square. So again, I can use the, the rectangle tool. I can also type in REC, snap to one of my points, one comma one. Now I have my second square. All right, so for the next square, it's going to be two by two, and it'll be located right above here. You could actually put it on the bottom, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to make mine from, from this corner up here. I type in rectangle, or again, you can choose the rectangle tool. And if I start from this corner, my, my x dimension is going to be negative 2. If I make it positive 2, then the square will go over here. So I type in negative 2, comma, and I want it to go vertically, so I'm going to input a dimension of 2. My next square will be over here, and this one will be 1 plus 2, so it'll be 3 by 3 square. REC, this time I'll start from this point, and I'll type in for my x, negative 3, comma, and my, my y dimension is going to be 3. And you can just keep going around, and the spiral will begin here, and it will begin to rotate around this direction. Rectangle, pick a point. In this case, um, the x will be a positive number. It's going to be 3 plus 1 plus 1. It will be 5, comma. And in this, and this time, my, neck, my y dimension is going to be um, downward, so it's going to be negative 5 and I can proceed around the center in the same sequence, 8, 8. And again, you're always adding the dimension across um, the distance. So this is an 8 by 8. This one here was 2 by 2. This one here is 3 by 3. You add those up and you get 13. Rectangle, oops, try again. Rectangle, x is minus 13, comma, y will be a positive. And I'll make one more from this position. This time x is going to be negative 21 and y will also be negative 21. Okay. If you want to check how far something is, you can use this measure tool. So if I click on measure, I can snap to this point and snap to this point and it gives me a distance of 13. Okay, so now I have all of the squares drawn, and what I need to do next is to draw the arcs that form the actual spiral. So I'm going to zoom, and I'm going to move in a little closer here. All right, now what I'm going to be doing is constructing a series of arcs. One arc will go like this, the next one like this, the next one like so, and they'll just circle circle around the center point. The arc tool, you'll find that on the home ribbon. So I'm going to click on arc and it's going to um, ask me for a few points. One of them is the center point and it will default to, to that as the first selection point, but I'm going to click on it again just to, to make it clear that I want to select the center point. This is going to be the center of my arc. Okay, now the start point will be this point right here, 
and it's always following um, the angles of a circle where over on the right is 0, this is 90, 180, 270. So we're always going to go in a counterclockwise rotation. Um, and again, I'm going to go to the arc command, and I'm going to um, tell it that I want to select the center point, center, start point, end point. Again, arc. Now this time, my center is going to be here, and my arc is going to go up like this. So I select center, choose that point, start point, end point. All right, I can also type in the word arc, and then it's the same process. Center, select center, start point, finish point. All right, now I will zoom out a little bit. I ty I've typed in Z for zoom, and I'm going to zoom in by 0.5x, so that's basically 50%. And then I will pan. You notice I, I entered um, the tick mark, and then P for pan, and it will take me to the pan tool. You can also use pan over here. Okay, so again, ARC. C, I can enter C for center, or I can come down here and click it. When it asks for a center point, I'm going to select this point, my start point, my end point. Okay, now same thing. Arc, C for center, select this point, start point, end point. And just continue around the spiral till you've filled all of the squares. One more time. Arc. C for center. Specify center. And there you have a spiral um, constructed out of the Fibonacci numeric sequence.